Somewhere inside AMD's labs, the secret GPU is being tested. It's not just faster than the RX 9070 XT, it's potentially powerful enough to challenge the RTX 4090 and until now, almost no one knew it existed. And this all is based on more slow is that leaks. The information comes from multiple independent sources with strong ties to the industry. And while nothing is confirmed by AMD engineering samples, codename Navy 48X are real. They exist and they're running games right now. This prototype often referred to as the RX 90XT engineering sample or ES is pushing the limits in every direction. 32 GB of GDDR7 memory, a 256-bit memory bus, clock speeds reaching enormous 3.7 GHz, and power draw climbing beyond 450 watts, even 500 watts in some tests. Performance? The internal benchmarks show a 15 to 45% uplift over the RX 9070XT with an average of 28% at 4K resolution. That puts this GPU in direct contention with the upcoming RTX 5080 Supermodel and in some scenarios even the 4090. What's interesting is how AMD is achieving this. There is no chip redesign, no 38-4-bit memory bus, instead it's pure brute force, extreme clocks, more bandwidth and low power. The approach mirrors what AMD did with the Ariadion 7 is rework it to Vega on a new node with higher bandwidth and power. As for the silicon itself, the debate is between TCMC 4 nanometer extreme node and 3 nanometer extreme node. M3X makes the 3.7 GHz speeds plausible. But the high power draw up to 500 watts suggests N4X might be actually not in use. There's even speculation that it's being manufactured in the United States at TCMC Arizona facility, giving AMD a chance to claim domestic production of a true flagship. There's a reason this momentum matters more than usual. Nvidia's 50 series rollout has been slow and fragmented with inconsistent supply and only minor generational gains. The RTX 5080 Super still hasn't launched and many high-end gamers are waiting for that card. Meanwhile, AMD has quietly been building momentum. The RX 7000 series provide that efficiency and price can still shake up the market. And now with GDDR7, higher clocks and cutting edge nodes, they have the tools to get further. Launching a card like so-called 9080 XT now would do more than just make headlines. It would send a message, we are still in the fight and we are not afraid to swing hard. For AMD, this isn't just about performance, it's about showing they can own the high-end narrative if only for one product cycle. And for the gaming community, it's a rare moment to where asking loudly enough may, might actually work. So why hasn't it launched? There are signs this GPU might have started as a professional model with variants reportedly having 48GB of VRAM. AMD's current Pro lineup already includes 32GB models and expanding that to 48 would require exactly the kind of specs this sample has. On top of that, AMD is rumored to be planning a full product refresh by end of 2025. This GPU could be held back either for that event or until software like FSR4 is finalized to support it properly. But the timing couldn't be more interesting. Nvidia is reportedly slowing production of the RTX 50 series and there's still no sign of a real 5080 supermodel or 1490 refresh. If AMD pushes this card out, they might just take back the high-end gaming crown, at least for a while. The community has influenced AMD before. During the RX 7000 series, several models were released or adjusted following online demand and feedback. This wouldn't be the first time pressure from gamers pushed AMD to respond. We do not know the final name of this GPU, it could be called the RX 9080 XT or even RX 9090 if it ever launched. But one thing is clear, if enough people speak up, what's now a prototype behind closed doors could become a flagship on store shelves. Because in the end, here's what matters. A GPU this powerful exists. It's been tested, it's real, and whether or not it ever launches might depend on what happens next. See you soon.